Hi guys and welcome to Escape Wheel Watch Reviews. My name is Steve and today we're going to be doing a condensed review on the Addy's Dive AD2066. It's a new release from Addy's Dive. I received this watch for free. I don't have to send the watch back but you guys know the deal by now. No matter how I get a watch in on this channel it's never going to sway my review one way or another. You're always going to get my honest opinion. And if you do want to pick one of these up, I'll be leaving a link down in the video description. That is an affiliate link, so if you do use that link, you guys don't pay any extra. I just earn a little bit of commission that helps keep the channel running, so I really do appreciate all the continued support from you guys. You have been amazing throughout the, the years. So the retail price for this watch is about 72 US dollars. That's before any taxes, sales, or coupons, or anything like that. Uh, I've seen these and most of these, you know, 37 millimeter VH31 watches from Addy's Dive uh, drop to around $50 pretty frequently. So don't pay $72 for one. If you're patient, you can get a pretty banging deal on these things. So this version, the AD2066, comes in three different colorways that you can see here. Honestly, I think they all look incredible, but this mint dial is definitely the most eye-catching and most dynamic dial. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. So the watch case is made of 316L stainless steel. It has a mineral crystal with anti-reflective coating, a screw-down crown, a screw-down case back 100 meters of claimed water resistance, has Swiss BGW9 loom on the dial and the hands, and the watch is powered by the Seiko VH31 sweeping quartz movement. So, like I said, I'll be doing a condensed review simply because we've seen this case, the crystal, the bracelet, uh, and the movement, and many other watches. So, I'm going to leave a link right up here. Uh, go check that out if you want to see those uh, those aspects of this watch in a little bit more detail. I am going to kind of gloss over all those uh, as we go through this, and then we'll get to the dial, which is, uh, that's where I'm going to be going in depth. Uh, because this is the new dial. It looks fantastic. I'm going to try and show it to you guys in different lighting and on some straps as well. So uh, I say we get right into this full review, but before we do, doing a quick wrist check today, wearing the Seastern S446. I haven't worn this in a very long time, actually, um, and I just forget how good it looks. This watch is really nice FKM strap as well. Um, yeah, love it. All right, so just doing a quick overview of everything that hasn't changed. So anything but the dial, uh, it's the same as we saw on the uh, the wave dials that you've, you've seen all over the place. So you have a 37 millimeter case. It is 11 millimeters thick. This is all measured on my calipers. We have a just under 46 lug tip to lug tip. And then we have 19 millimeter lug width. And the bracelet tapers down to 16 millimeters at the clasp. We have three solid links solid end links, female pivot end links. Everything is is just just like before. So uh, go watch those other videos if you want to see my in-depth thoughts on them. Uh, just a general take on it. It's, it's kind of flimsy and a little bit lightweight. Uh, fluidity, comfort is fine. Uh, push pins uh, for sizing was no issue. And a typical Addy's Dive clasp, which is fully milled on the inside, pressed outer shell. Plenty of micro adjust. It's comfortable. It works fine. Um, so not too much to complain about there. 19 millimeter lug width. When this first came out, they did say it was 20 millimeters. I'm not sure what happened with that. If that was just a uh, printing mistake or or whatnot, uh, but this is definitely 19 millimeters and measured that with my my calipers as well. So um, yeah, all of the case is the same. Polishing on the sides, really nicely done. You got a cross brushing or, or angular brushing on the tops of the lugs pretty coarse brushing but nicely done uh, a polished bezel there as you can see everything looks really good the the case on this watch i can see why they keep on using it it's an excellent case um, they they did a very nice job with it 11 millimeters thick is awesome because it does include that k1 mineral crystal uh, plenty of inner reflective coating on that crystal as well keeps the dial nice and legible it's a great crystal uh, if you can accept mineral crystal which you should at this price point uh, and it's a great case i mean the case finishing on this watch is very nice as you can see here just sharp transitions uh, a little bit sharp on these these ends here uh, but that's not something that really affects you on the wrist at all so um yeah i think the case the crystal the bracelet all are acceptable for the price point i mean 50 to 55 dollars you can get these things all day long um, and it's it's just really nice. It's kind of an explorer style case, so a little bit rounded on the edges there. Screw down crown, which is sign there, and then your typical Eddie's dive uh, case back here. Simple notches to get a tool in there if you ever need to replace a battery. So no issues there. This back case here is a little bit scratchy, but uh, for the most part, the case, the bracelet, the crystal, uh, the crown action is fine. The movement is excellent. It's a VH31 quartz movement, so four ticks per second, two years battery life, and it's 
Uh, these things typically typically run like two or three seconds uh, a day or two or three seconds a month um, accuracy wise. So um, yeah, there's not a whole lot to complain about as far as uh, you know the the watch case and bracelet and the crystal. They're all excellent for the value. And again, I'm going to mention this again. If you want to see more details about the case, um, then go check out the other review of the AD2030. Um, that's that kind of wave or sand dune dial. Um, but it's the same watch as this, just different dial. So go check out those. All right, so the dial is definitely the star of the show. We have this minty green. It's a very, very light green. It's, it looks silver most of the time. It's an extremely strong sunburst, as you can see here. Uh, it looks absolutely gorgeous. They did an awesome job on this. Uh, I'm not really sure how they do it at this price point. Obviously, uh, they're saving a lot by using the same case and bracelet. But, uh, yeah, the dial on this watch is phenomenal uh, for the price you're paying. I don't think I've seen a nicer one, honestly. Um, just really, really happy with it. You can see there you do have the Addy's Dive script. You don't have the ugly Addy's Dive logo. And then just simple 100 meters down there. Print a minute track around the outside. And then applied indices everywhere else. Everything looks to be applied pretty straight. I don't see anything out of alignment. You have slightly larger markers at the 12, 3, 6, and 9. And then slightly smaller ones at all the other hour markers there. They're fully polished, fully faceted. They just look... I mean, look at look at that. Then you have this little concentric ring here, concentric circles around there. Uh, it just kind of adds a little bit of dynamic to the dial. It looks fantastic. The handset that they chose, just a perfect length on those hands. Really nicely done. I like the design on them. Uh, you can see here, if we get real close, there's a little brushed strip down the middle of it, each hand there, which is nice to see and then polished facets on either side of that. So legibility wise, it's fine. We've got no real complaints with that either. Uh, the second hand sweeping along looks good. Good length on that. So, I mean, the dial on this watch is just kind of blew me away when I first saw it. The way that it plays with the light, hopefully I will uh, step outside here in just a little bit and you can see just how dynamic and how much it changes and shifts um, it, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous dial. I, I can't stress that enough. The loom on the watch is actually okay too. So I'm going to put it up against a couple other watches in the collection here. You can see it does hang on pretty good. Um, it's BGW9, so it's that ice blue glow. It's not going to blow you away. It's not dive watch good, and it shouldn't be for uh, the price and the design of the watch. But um, it's definitely usable. It was a little difficult to read it in the middle of the night, but I still could read it. Um, so yeah, the loom on the watch is actually, uh, I'd say like a 6 out of 10 maybe. Six, five, six out of ten. So uh, overall, pretty happy with it. So, uh, like I mentioned earlier, getting it outside, getting it in some different lighting. I'm gonna go outside, try and show you guys this dial and some some different lighting situations in the shade, uh, in direct sunlight, all that fun stuff. Throw it on some straps as well. Um, so yeah, let's go do that right now. So here we are on my seven and a half inch wrist. As you can see, it does wear a little bit small for me, a little bit smaller than I would appreciate. I, I would love to see this watch done in a 39. Uh, I think it would look fantastic. But uh, as you can see here, the dial just kind of changes shade depending on how the light is hitting it. It looks absolutely gorgeous though. I absolutely love this dial. And again, super comfortable watch. It's very lightweight, very thin, as you can see there. Nice down the wrist shot there. Uh, it just sits flat on the wrist and it looks really good. And here we are in some more direct sunlight. There you can see very strong sunburst. Still a very subtle color. It doesn't really pop that minty color at all. Um, it's just a very, very subtle green hue over a silver dial in my opinion. Uh, but it just looks really really good I don't know what else to tell you guys it just looks great and here we are on a leather strap just a black textured leather strap I think it looks all right I wish it would taper just a little bit more but I think that looks okay what do you guys think my 19 millimeter strap selection is not great so it is what it is this is what we got to do I do have a couple other ones so let's go do it right now here we are on a kind of a taupe color, kind of a brownish, tannish, grayish color. Lifted off one of my fair suit watches, but uh, I actually think that looks pretty good, surprisingly. Sorry about the noise. 
And lastly, here we are on a smooth FKM strap in black. I think that looks pretty good. That's probably how I would rock this thing if I was uh, wearing it mostly. So I do think that looks nice. There you go guys, that is the Addy's Dive AD2066, a new model from them, uh, and I think it's definitely worth checking out. Um, if you're, I'm kind of over this case, I'm, I'm done seeing it, I don't need to see it anymore or wear it anymore, I know exactly how it's going to wear on me, and it's, for me, a little bit too small. So, um, I'd like to see them do this in a 39mm with the VH31, that would be nice. Um, but as it is, if you are interested in a small, kind of go anywhere, do anything, a little bit more on the dressy side watch um this one's gonna be hard to beat especially especially for the price um i think it's a beautiful dial really well executed as well the case on it is very nice too um yeah uh, even the bracelet is is usable and serviceable um after the strap show i just kept it on this one because i think it looks really good on this actually um and it's super super comfortable um but yeah that the watch itself is great i can see why they keep on using this case this crystal this movement and the bracelet it's a very nice package especially for the 50 dollars. Uh, it's gonna be really hard to be and you can see why uh, they've sold so many of these things i mean this is one of if not their best selling watch um this case at least um so yeah i think i think they're gonna keep on producing this because you guys keep on buying them um and I see no fault in that at all. I like the fact that they switched to the script logo. It's so much nicer on a watch like this. Um, and just they just nailed that dial. So clean and, and crisp. And um, yeah, it just plays with the light beautifully. Um, so yeah, I think that's it for me, guys. I, I'm not really sure what else I can say. Um, it's a great package. 50, 55 bucks all day long, pretty much. Um, and yeah, it's going to be reliable. It's going to be accurate. It looks absolutely stunning, so um, it's going to be hard to beat. So I think that's it for me. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.